The hissing period is a time intelligence function that is useful to retrieve periods of dates starting from a reference date. You need to specify as argument uh, the column that you want to retrieve, a reference date, the size of the set that you want to retrieve, and the unit of measure that gives a meaning to the size. Let's see that with an example. In the first query, we use dates in period. We want dates starting from the 15th of August 2008, and we want the result to contain one day. If I run the query, you see that the result contains one day, which is the 15th of August 2008, because it used the reference date and the set needed to contain one day. You can change the size of the, uh, the unit of measure of the reference, and if I run the query with one month, then I have one month worth of data starting from the 15th of August 2008 and going down to the 14th September of 2008. So month, day, quarter, or year is the unit of measure of the set that you want to retrieve. Whereas uh, one, two, three, or whatever number you provide as the third argument uh, is uh, the length of uh, the set you want to retrieve. If you have, uh, if you use dates in period two days, it will retrieve two days starting from the 15th of August 2008. You see the result contains the 15th and the 16th August 2008. The reference date is always included in the set, which is then extended to include the number of periods that you requested. If you use zero as the third argument, then you are requesting a data set containing zero, pe zero period. And as a result, you will always obtain an empty set, because no matter what you use as the unit of measure, zero always contains nothing at all. A very common usage of uh, Dates in period is to also go back in time. You can use positive numbers to go forward in time, but you can also use negative numbers to go back in time. Dates in period starting from the 15th of August and going back two days returns two days, the absolute value of the third argument, but the sign of the third argument decides whether you want to go forward or backward in time. So the result now contains the 15th and the 5th and the 14th of August 2008. Changing the unit of measure, you can obtain the previous month. Dates in period starting again from the 15th of August and going back one month returns dates that starts from the 16th of July 2008 and go down up to the 15th of August 2008. Keep in mind that dates in period does not return the previous month. So starting from the 15th of August, it does not return the entire month of July. It returns a month worth of data that ends at the 15th of August. If you want the previous month, then you need to use different functions like previous month that returns a full previous month regardless of where the date is in the current month. Let's now see a practical usage of uh, uh, dates in period to compute a moving annual total. Moving annual average, indeed. The measure sales moving annual total first defines a variable one year back that always contains one year of data. And to compute it, we use dates in period, use the date as the reference date, sorry, date as the time of uh, the column that I want to retrieve. Then uh, we use the reference date, which is the max date data, the last date, which is visible in the current filter context. And we go back one year. Dates in period will always contain a full year of dates that ends with the last visible date. We then use one year back as a filter argument of calculate in order to perform the next calculation in the full year of data. And we compute the number of months, the sales amount, and if there are at least 12 months, we compute the moving annual average. You see the result for 2008, it is showing the moving annual average over uh, month by month, where for every month it computes one year of data and divides the result by 12.